Hi, it is April 28th. Um, this is going to be a very personal recorded video. It's um, all about COVID and what's going on right now because this is probably um, the freakiest time in the world for any individual. And we as a universe, right? on planet earth are affected right so i know there is a lot wrong with that last sentence let's brush it <laughs> let's move along um i want to start off with families um so school has been canceled and what i mean by that is you're not attending classes um everything has gone virtual so families have been really affected by this with, you know, their young children or, you know, minors having to stay at home, you know, who is all of a sudden looking after these kids, right? Um, it's, it's unfortunate, and I know that a lot of people are struggling with this right now, so my heart definitely goes out to um, people in this situation right now and, you know, stay strong. Um, so really, this this is a very unexpected thing. Um, number two, businesses, small businesses, um, clothing stores, retail, everything is closed except for um, the grocery stores or super centers like Walmart or Target. Those are still open, but... For me, in my experience, I'm not going to step foot in one of those unless I absolutely need to. Um, it is not a fun thing right now being in fear of, you know, getting infected with this virus. Um, number three is being out of work right now. Um, just being in the hospitality industry, it has really affected globally um, this whole field you know we aren't an essential essential field right vacationing partying leisure this has taken a huge hit um, it's makes you really question uh, how this pandemic happened before our eyes and why internationally we have all just canceled life you know I was told by my family that they have never experienced anything like this in their lifetime so that just shows a lot um, how strange things are getting so and I can't imagine after this is all over how we're going to recover on this earth. Um, I think there's a lot of gaps and confusion. Um, I know for me personally, I was a student working full time, um, going to school full time. And one day they just decided that school will no longer be in session everything is pushed online so you know it was it was a fun time for me to um you know go to usf and you know see my friends and kind of enjoy being a senior and that was definitely taken away with of course life and we're all affected we're all experiencing it um so number, number four is the stimulus check. This proposes a lot of questions. Um, a lot of news likes to connect this to um, communism. Um, you know, controlled income right now. You know, for those who aren't um, essential workers such as myself. So, you know, the international income check or sorry, the, the stimulus income check, right? 
um, leads to a lot of suspicion. I mean, I was, I was very surprised that they even went through with something like this. And um, it wasn't even monitored whether you were working or not. They just gave it to you regardless if you had a tax return. So it's it's very suspicious, right? Yeah. And uh, not just the U.S., but, you know, almost every country out there. Um, so number five is rent. You know, how are people dealing with rent right now? Um, of course, you're not working. You know, you have to live off of this check. Some people don't even have their check yet. Um, it's kind of interesting. I'm very fortunate right now um, with being a senior. Um, you know, I was with my family. But I always say this ever since that this episode has occurred that, you know, imagine if this happened next year. And I were to be in my career field and I was on my own, I would be freaking the hell out right now. So, you know, we're never prepared for things like this, but I definitely um, so happen to be at the right place and right time with being with my family right now and finishing up school and kind of being able to use this precious time on you know, setting um, approaches to graduation and life after school. So I've been making real valuable time with that. Um, number six is sanitizer and toilet paper. So if anything, we'll look back at COVID-19 is this shortage of both during the pandemic. Um, it is a hot commodity right now to get these things. Um, they go out quickly. It, I'm sure these companies are making bank right now, like Scott's toilet paper. So, yeah, this this is this is a hot and it's unfortunate that it is becoming a scarce thing. I don't understand, especially with the toilet paper. It doesn't make any sense. If someone could explain that to me. Sanitizer, of course, makes sense. You know, you got to disinfect yourself. Okay, so point seven was school is online. Yep. Um, and something really interesting about school is that uh, everything can be opted for pass or fail rather than the normal grading system, like getting a B or C, A, stuff like that. So... Yeah, they've been very um, nice about it at my institution and sort of sensitive because there's a lot of students with learning disabilities or students that don't do well online. Like for myself, I hate online classes, but it's about what works for you. So for me, I just ask my professors kindly, like, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to um, write extra assignments just because of this um, unfortunate event. Um, so I've requested to do video submissions and they've been very um, receptive and kind to that. What else? Uh, number eight, uh, this is probably the weirdest one. Um, everything has shifted online. And this is kind of why this video was being prompted to me because, you know, I just watched a very disturbing video about COVID-19 deaths being skewed and how medical professionals are being coursed to kind of lie about these deaths like if you passed away from cancer um, and you were showing symptoms of like shortness of breath they would count that as a COVID death you know if you're showing COVID symptoms even though you passed away from cancer they would still um, count it for that so you know you gotta you gotta ask yourself why why is this what's prompting, you know, medical professionals to 
come out with misleading information, right? It's it's very uh, suspicious, yeah. And uh, what is what is the government or um, you know just globally? What is their hidden agenda? You know, because this is a huge distraction right now, but you know this is a stepping stone maybe for something in the future. Um, there's a lot of speculation about people being microchipped and um, kind of losing that privacy. And um, so this video talked about, you know, with social distancing, I have friends personally who are too scared to hang out, to go outside, you know? I, I would say at least half of my friends are very afraid to just socialize so I haven't seen them in quite some time so I mean it leads me to be forced into talking them to them um, on the phone or texting them or talking to them on Instagram so it takes away from those face-to-face -face conversations right and these conversations are now being recorded and documented. That's alarming. That's fucking scary, right? That Silicon Valley um, and all these platforms lead to one company, and it's Google, uh, who owns all my apps on my phone. You know, I use WhatsApp. That's owned by Facebook. Instagram's owned by Facebook. My student email account is done through gmail okay i'm i'm forced to use this at school to communicate with advisors and and that leads me to my last point is my advising appointments they're all on the phone now or lecture sessions you know i just had classes through zoom so zoom uh skype phone calls you know, this is all very, very private information. I'm not talking about the class lectures, but these um, advising appointments, right? So that, that I don't like. And we're not in a time where we can do something like this, of course. But I, I think that we're trying to be blindsided and you know even YouTube is getting slammed with sort of their vision and their guidelines of if we figure out that anything is threatening with you know COVID-19 information um, or like a health risk harm risk we will delete the video and they've simply said that so I am concerned about my future and, you know, my family's future and they're not doing a good job with covering whatever they're trying to cover up.